Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls. I'm now here for my Sean Strickland versus Drickish Duplessis fight prediction now for you guys. And yes, I cannot wait for this fight. Of course, it's a, it's a really, really, really exciting one, to be honest with you. Sean Strickland and Drickish Duplessis. Two guys who have got a... I mean, they've got a both... They've both got a good, solid come forward style, and I do feel like this is a fight which will be decided by who is able to, you know, be the one on the front foot pressuring. I feel like that's where this fight will mostly be decided, to be honest with you, because I feel like neither guy are great at being able to fight on the back foot. So if you can, I feel like if you, if Drickers can push Sean onto the back foot, then, you know, that's where Sean Strickland's at his weakness. He's, Sean Strickland is not exactly a great counter puncher. He's not very good fighting backwards. And, you know, that is where Strickland is at his, you know, most, that's where he's most vulnerable. And I feel like, you know, especially in that Cannonier fight that Strickland had um, back in December of 2022, that is where, I feel like, you know, that kind of showed a few of Sean Strickland's weaknesses. Uh, but, yeah, like, Strickland did have a good showing against Cannonier as well, though, and arguably won the fight. But, yeah, I feel like, you know, there were glimpses, obviously, of when Cannonier put Strickland on the back foot. That's where Strickland's at his weakest. But same with uh, Duplessis. I don't think he's great fighting backwards either. But I think, obviously, I feel like the more technical and you know better boxer on the feet is 100 percent sean strickland strickland is way more technical than duplessis he's definitely got better defense than duplessis has uh strickland and you know he's just all round better on the uh on, on the feet than duplessis is um you know definitely more skillful puts his shots together a lot better than duplessis does but i feel like duplessis does hit harder than sean strickland does though duplessis does hit hard coming forward to be honest with you. But, you know, Strickland's a real blame monster coming forward as well. He's really hard. Like, you can't really outbox Sean Strickland. So, it's going to be interesting to see what Duplessis does. But he needs to be applying the pressure, though, in my opinion. Uh, Drick is Duplessis. But uh, it's going to be hard against someone like Sean Strickland. But you never know. They might end up meeting right in the middle and then just, you know, just fully going for it in the middle in a massive dogfight. But... I don't know. It's uh, it's a really interesting one. Both guys will be planning to, you know, uh, 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 be applying the pressure. But who who will it be who will be able to do it, though? Because we haven't really seen Duplessis be put on the back foot too much in his fight. Um, like, he, Duplessis rarely put on the back foot. Uh, Strickland, we have seen him being put on the back foot before. But, yeah, it's... It's an interesting one because I do feel like if there's anyone that can really apply that pressure and put Duplessis on the back foot, though, it is going to be Sean Strickland. And I feel like, though, the longer this fight goes, the more it definitely favours Sean Strickland, the longer it goes. I feel like Duplessis is going to be looking to get an early finish here. but And I feel like Duplessis has to win this fight by knocking out uh, or submitting Sean Strickland, but I don't see Strickland getting submitted by Drickus Duplessis. D Duplessis, I believe, has 11 submissions uh, in his MMA career, but, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to get Sean Strickland down. Sean Strickland, he has got good wrestling and grappling. I know he doesn't use it much in his fights at all, but we did see a bit when he was at welterweight, he did use the wrestling and the grappling a bit. But yeah, from what we've seen in his fights uh, against like, like Abus and stuff, you know, especially that fight, you know, Strickland's hard to take down and he's hard to, uh, and you can't really do what you want with him on the ground. Strickland's got good wrestling and he's got good, he's got good ground defense. He's got good takedown defense, Sean Strickland has. So I feel like Duplessis needs to be able to walk Strickland down and knock him out. I feel like that's Duplessis' only way of really winning this fight. I feel like, I feel like Strickland can win this fight via dis via decision, and I think Strickland can win this fight via knockout as well. I also don't see Strickland being able to uh, submit Duplessis though. But yeah, I think I, I, I think it's a really really interesting fight to be fair. But yeah, I I see Strickland being able to survive that first round definitely. Uh, to be fair, but I, I do see Duplessis starting the stronger out of the two though. 
But, yeah, I mean, obviously, I think, yeah, Duplessis kind of got his nose issues sorted out now, so his cardio should be better uh, that, uh, than what's always uh, used to be. But, no, still, Strickland's, you know, in my opinion, got the best cardio in the middleweight division by far. So, yeah, I, I do think if Strickland gets out this first round, then I feel like the fight definitely favours him more. And... You know, even though Duplessis might still be able to be in the fight, like how long will Duplessis be able to, you know, continue fully going forward for? Because this is Duplessis' first five-round fight in the UFC. Strickland's had quite a few five-round fights now. And, you know, I feel like it will only, if Strickland gets past that first round, which I think he will, I think it's just going to keep on going Sean Strickland's way. And eventually Strickland will start to apply that pressure. Duplessis will start well, in, in my opinion, and will have Sean Strickland in trouble in that first round. Because uh, I feel like Duplessis would come out. Um, I, I feel like Duplessis will, will come uh, all out in that first round and be really going out to try and get a finish there. But, you know, Strickland just needs to stay composed. And I feel like if he gets out of it, Strickland will then start applying the pressure. Then I have a feeling he'll be able to start to walk Duplessis down for a bit, though. But it's going to be harder for Strickland than it was for others. Uh, it's going to be harder for Strickland to walk fully walk down Duplessis for five rounds, though, than it was for Anderson, uh, than, than he did against Adesanya. I feel like this is definitely going to be a harder test for Sean Strickland, uh, in my opinion. But Strickland's defence is just going to be good. And I see... Duplessis swinging missing quite a bit, in my opinion, um, uh, uh, throughout the rounds, in my opinion. And I, yeah, I honestly do think that Sean Strickland will end up winning this fight uh, via uh, unanimous decision. I think Duplessis will pick up that first round, and I feel like Strickland's going to be in cruise control for the fight most of the time, really. I feel like he'll just be too skillful for Duplessis on the feet. Duplessis might try and take the uh, take the fight to the ground, but he's not going to be able to do what he wants with Strickland on the ground, though. It's not going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, I, 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 I see Strickland win this fight. I, I feel like he's just going to be able to outbox Duplessis, uh, to be honest with you, from round two to five, that it's just going to be all Sean Strickland. That, that's what I think. Could Sean Strickland get Duplessis out of there? Possibly. But there is also a big chance as well, though, that even if Sean Strickland is walking Duplessis down for a few rounds, though, it is possible that he walks onto something from Duplessis, though. More of a chance than it is from Adesanya, because Adesanya can't deal with uh, with someone coming right at him. I feel like, even though I don't think Duplessis is great on the back foot, I feel like he's better at fighting on the back foot than Adesanya would be. And I feel like there's more of a chance that Duplessis can catch Sean Strickland and knock him out. But no, I'm going to say Sean Strickland, though. I feel like his, his defense is only going to keep on getting better and better, in my opinion. And this is, you know, the best possible version we got of Sean Strickland right now. And I don't see Strickland dropping the title here, to be fair. But it's, it's going to be tough. I've seen loads of people picking Duplessis, but Strickland is the uh, odds-on favorite, though. So, yeah. I'm going to be, uh, sorry, it, 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 yeah, Strickland is the favourite. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I'm going with Strickland uh, via unanimous decision. That's what I'm going for. Would he stop? I don't think Strickland will get a stoppage vote. He could do, because who knows how Duplessis will deal with, uh, with the whole five rounds. His cardio might be better than, well, it will be better than what it was. But still, though, there's a chance that he can't fully deal with Strickland for five rounds and Strickland could possibly end up stopping him. But, yeah, I'm going to say Strickland on decision, though. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you on a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.